days of difficulty Allah has a solution. For every sickness there's a cure, for every condition there's a door. Always a reminder for us, our life is about Allah putting us in a condition because He wants a controlled outcome to move through that door. And the door of Allah is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad When Allah put the title of Habibullah means that my beloved, the one whom I love, I want all of creation to love and in these days of difficulty only Allah come into our lives with immense clarity that many may talk what seem to be a truth but the glowing light of the truth will set us free. By holding tight to that rope it distinguishes itself from every other imaginary truth. When we say these are the time of dajjal it's the time of deceit. It's the deceit within the Islamic nation and Ummat al-Muhammad is immense amount of dajjal deceit in which to make ropes for people to grab and like a joke on people they grab a rope that connected to nothing. They grab, they push and they say, oh my this rope is not connected to anything. And when Allah described for us, hold firm to the rope of Allah and tafaraq don't make your schisms and schemes and, and break away all those ropes and turuqs and understandings they must be emanating from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad The turuq and the path is a path directly from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad out to his nation and out to all of creation which is the nation that has not yet heard the da'wah. It is the line of salvation that Allah will illuminate in the last days. As difficulty everywhere, hardships everywhere, sicknesses everywhere, all of those will make every falsehood to perish. That what they believed, now see if it'll help you, then it perishes. What they believe, now see if that will protect you and it perishes. Where is the sanctuary of Allah and where is the protection of Allah from shaitan when shaitan is everywhere. And awliyaullah come and all these Muhammadan teachings very simplified. Be with the one whom is already in Allah's Divinely protection. Run, when you are an oppressor to yourself run to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad begging Allah's forgiveness. And that becomes the immensity of that secret that we are oppressors Ya Rabbi and the, and the world has filled with oppressions and we want to run to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad If that reality is not in the formula it nothing will save you. No najat comes to them, no power reaches to them. Because Allah's illuminated light, illuminated path, illuminated salvation is this love of Sayyidina Muhammad Because Allah is just saying if they are oppressors to themselves, so that means that in the last days earth would be filled with oppression. And where are you going to run to for safety? Where will you run that you're protected from shaitan? is the presence of the one whom shaitan fears is Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why Allah describes, I would not punish you while you are amongst them and they are asking forgiveness.
So means all of these are a symbol for us that in these difficulties Allah's command oppression, run to the presence of Prophet and in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad you are safe from Allah's anger. What you, fear, what you have to fear is that shaitan make you to say and do wrong things and qadab Allah and the anger of Allah come onto creation and begin to annihilate. And what Allah teaches for us is if you want the safety be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And then all these haqqaiqs begin to illuminate the heart that that is the haqq and that when you run with your reality, your physicality and your soul that I heard these awliyaullah teachings and I'm going to run to that presence and I'm going to run there with the best of character, the best of manners, I'm going to make durood sharif intensely in abundance. It is the beatific fountains of beatific fragrance that illuminate the heart and beautify and fragrance the tongue. So that you become something of what Allah pleased to look at that servant. Then they, they understood they purify, correct and beautify themselves as a result. Prophet teaching, you be with whom you love. That love is now emanating in your heart, your soul will be moving into that holy presence, not your body. Your soul because of that light that you're making of salawat, because of the mafil that you're listening and attending to via your home, because of this ishq that is building your soul. As soon as it hears these salawats, it remembers these fountains of paradise that this is the king of paradise, this is the king of creation. We, we samina watana, we heard this reality and our soul, its intrinsic nature is to obey that reality. Has immense light, it's running as a result it brings your body into that presence. As your soul is moving with that light and with that love, Allah describe all of Qur'an is a description of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Qul, tell them when the haqq comes the falsehood perishes. Every falsehood on you when you begin to make the durood, make the salawat, attend the mafil, imagine yourself for understanding you have all sorts of falsehoods on your light, all sorts of imperfections on the light. As soon as it begins to make a praising it's moving into that light. Now they purify and clean with light. You know these bacteria, they have a special UV frequency of light that they shine it, they tell you close your eyes and it destroys everything. Just for us to even understand the reality of light, the, the bacteria on the body can be destroyed by UV lights. Imagine the bacteria upon the soul, the body, the nafs and shaitan and all that it's trying to put upon us moving into the presence of that salawat. And when that light of Sayyidina Muhammad accept that salawat and begin to make ten praisings back upon the servant, each praise from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad shahidan, mubashiran wa nadiran that I'm witness to your salawat, my soul is accepting it and now shattering all of your falsehoods. Mubashiran, the one who brings glad tidings that my lights will illuminate your lights. This is the study of light, when we study light and not physicality, you study light the more powerful light the more powerful frequency it dis dissolves every lower frequency. When you study light the higher frequencies can destroy every other frequency. They have lasers now that cut through metal, cut through steel, cut through everything but your flashlight at home can't do nothing.
It's Timeless Reality with Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi. Guides the reader in meditation. Connecting the heart to a guide and to daily spiritual practices to understand the effects of positive and negative energy and to progress the reader in their spiritual awakening and the soul's connection to the world of light. The Divine's Ancient Timeless Reality. Order on Amazon.com. With your generous support, we have helped many of the needy around the world. You can make a difference right now by helping us support those who need it the most. Give now at nurmuhammad.com forward slash donate. In the immensity of that light, Mubashiran as it begins to shine upon on our association in the presence of the light of Sayyidina Muhammad because there are mechanisms and systems in which lights increase in power. That light like a laser comes and begin to destroy every imperfection and as a result illuminate with the same beatific light and illuminate the souls. Beautify the souls just by the presence of that light it comes, destroys false and illuminates with beatific lights. And as a result of illuminating the soul, nadiran, that now my light is with you, my light and my love is with you and when it's with you I love you and you love me. Minhi wa minhum. How Prophet taught us, one day you'll know what I'm saying, when I tell you that I love my family, when you love them you'll realize my light and reality is within them. And they teach you how to love, they teach you how to reach to that reality. So that they carry the Muhammadan light because of their inheritance, their love and the reality of who their souls are. And many awliyaullah when you sit you look at them you can see the light of Sayyidina Muhammad illuminating out from them. They inherit from the minhi wa minhum, they inherit that they are from that light and Prophet I will appear through their light because it's my light within them. I am their hearing, I am their seeing. I am their speaking, I am the hands in which he touches and the feet in which he moves. So much so he's Rabbaniyoon lordly under the lordship of who? And that if he asks, Kun fayakun, it should be granted because that soul emanate from the reality within the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad the will of that soul is the will of Prophet the will of Sayyidina Muhammad is the will of Allah which is perfect tawheed because everything is under the will of Allah under the authority of La ilaha illallah. They don't will what is not willed by Allah So the immensity of these realities then in these days how are you going to reach to hawla and quwwa? Who are going to help you from these creatures that are coming onto this earth? The shots they give, this game they play is not for what people understand but for what things are coming upon this earth. What saves people from what's coming upon this earth? Philosophies and political systems? Our only Allah teaching for us the most pure, run, run to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is the only place you're going to find Allah If you busied yourself around the Kaaba but you didn't have sincerity, you're playing with stones. How many years you want to play with stones? You just keep making tawaf, rubbing the stone, rubbing the stone, you didn't have any sincerity. Well, Allah just said, thank you, I accept you came for here, but you know where I really am? 
I'm in the heart of my believer, Qalbul Mu'min Baytullah. This bait you made with your hands, the bait in Medina Allah made. That became the secret, that became the secret of realities, that became the, the Salik's understanding, are you really seeking Allah For if you really sought Allah with sincerity and good character, you didn't find the secret in the reality of Prophet So Allah then teach, run, run to Medina to Munawwara, make your salawats, make your durood, attend the mafils, keep making your salawats, connecting your heart that with this love and ishq Ya Rabbi let my soul to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad then I will defend you with the power that nothing can come against you, nothing can harm you, nothing. Because Allah's might and majesty is with the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and all the beautific realities of Holy Qur'an dressing you, Allah said, take your hand now and take the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad it is my hand. Your hand upon Prophet and my hand seals your deal. That Allah said, anywhere that you can put your hand and you reach to Allah's hand. Allah says, you have to take the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad All of this is the ruhaniyat and the world of light that has no time and is never ending. It's not a story that was from a thousand years, it's a story right now. Make your salawat, make your durood, make your bargain with Allah Turn yourself from dunya and direct yourself to the presence and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and then you'd be dressed with everything written from behind forgiven, everything written in front you become mahfuz. Means now the, the hawla and the help is being dressed upon you because the hand of Prophet is an eternal power that completely dressing you and the hand of Prophet never lets go. If you reach to that reality and you had that level of, of, of sincerity, you had that level of ishq, do you think Prophet would take his hand away? It's impossible. Because you're ashiqeen, because you have love. And Allah said, I know even you do sins, I will clean it so his hand will never leave you, inshaAllah. And your back, I'll clean it so that you have an honourable state. Our life is to reach the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why the bayat to the shaykhs who represent that reality that their hand is just an imitation of the hand to reach to Prophet And as a result that is the hawla and quwwah, that is the help and madad upon this earth. And that's why they teach that reach to these hands when you make your madad and read the madad from the app. And you call upon these, these beautific Muhammadan lovers of reality, these Ahbab and Nabi they're the hands of Prophet coming into our lives. Their unseen presence in our lives is a hand of support that our hand with you, don't worry. And the Khilafat of Sayyidina Muhammad is with the Turkish nation and the Ottoman Empire and was never taken away by Prophet It was the Arabs who distreated and mistreated the Amanat and it was taken by Sayyidina Muhammad away from them. And it was given to the Ottoman nation because tahzim and nabi for their love and respect and reverence. And that's why they carry all of the amanats that Sayyidina Mahdi must enter into Istanbul to take all those for his fight against the Dajjal. How can anyone open their mouth against that reality? If the solution is not about how to reach to the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad if you don't acknowledge his sultanat, 
and you don't acknowledge his position and dominion over you, you are nothing but garbage. And we know how Allah will take garbage from the earth. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. برای 